Thank you. In this prequel, we learn the origins of some of our favorite characters from the previous installments in the franchise. The film is entertaining on the surface, and it's sorta kinda deep because it correlates to the civil rights movement that happened in real life. But instead of black people being on the receiving end of bigotry, they replace the black people with people with superhuman abilities. Some of these enhanced creatures include the blue girl that could shapeshift, the woman who could read minds, the character that could teleport, and the black guy that could avoid dying first in the movie. Humans fear what they don't understand and it's hard to understand these types of people. With their special powers, they pose a serious threat to our way of life. This mutant is a prominent character in the original saga. The character was stuck in its beast form in the original saga, but here, the character is able to switch freely between human and animal form. The film explains what causes the character to be stuck in the animal form later on in life. The events in the movie are set in motion after this one kid witnesses the torture and death of his mother. After that, his heart is thirsty for vengeance, and he goes on a journey to assassinate the guy who tortured his mom. A radical leader gains a following after he announces he believes his kind are superior and should rule over regular humans. Hitler. The villain takes on a protege. His student is this orphan who doesn't know any better, and he takes advantage of this boy by telling him he'll help him learn how to use his powers and reach his full potential. I mentioned earlier that this story is similar to the civil rights movement. Every civil rights movement needs their Martin and Malcolm. The m and in this case are these two best friends with different ideologies. One believes that their kind could coexist with the humans, while the other believes that it's only a matter of time before the humans turn against them. The real enemy is out there. They're metal targeting us. That is what we are fighting. How long will it take before they turn their weapons on us? In their fight for rights, they agree not to fight each other. This sets a good example for the young people that idolize them. There's a school for the gifted that one of them teaches at. He teaches the students to practice nonviolence by practicing violence. I'm not really sure. Just watch the movie to figure out his lessons on your own. I'm not the only one confused by his courses. Zoe Kravitz starts off as one of his students in the movie, and she fails his class too. Her moral compass is all jacked up, so when the villain draws a line in the sand and gives the good guys a chance to join him or die, she's one of the first one that crosses the line to entertain his request. The scene is pretty graphic because the people that stand up to the bad guy get put down like dogs. The villain has a way with words, and he convinces most of the enhanced characters to join his cause. He he uses fear as a tactic and warns his people of an upcoming world war. He hires the woman who could read minds as his right hand, and with her, he knows all his enemies' weaknesses and secrets. His army is growing stronger, and so is his confidence. The government wants to recruit the professor to fight the bad guy. He says no, but ends up working for them anyway. With the help of a ball, the professor and his allies are able to pinpoint anyone's GPS coordinates. They use it to find everyone except the bad guy. They do eventually manage to locate the villain. In the final showdown, the government incriminates themselves when they shoot first. This causes the one character who hates the government and humans to look like he has a point. Even more followers join him after that, and he and his group disappear without saying I told you so. Those are 24 reasons these movies are the same. You agree? Yes, no, maybe so? If not, politely share your thoughts in the comment section below, and click the subscribe button for more 24 reason videos. <gasps> Elevator music I've never heard.